And I remember having another a second impression saying, this is the woman I'm going to marry, and I feel like I need to marry her. I was kind of surprised by the way he was, the way he acted, the way he presented himself. It was very different, and it was, it was his kindness, the first thing that I saw about him, the first thing that I was impressed. So my very first impression of Maria was, she's a really cute girl and I was looking at her and saying, I wonder how I can get to know her, how I can find out who she is. There was one night I went over, we were watching a scary movie, and I was going to leave because it was a scary movie and I wasn't really into scary movies at that moment. <laughs> and I remember about to get up and that's when she stopped me. She's like, Bridger, could you, you know, can I talk to you for a minute before you leave? Mm -hmm. And she's like, would you like to hang out? Would you like to go on a date or something? Mm -hmm. And she's like, and I was like, it kind of stopped me there because I was a little, you know, she asked me out. And I just kind of <laughs> took a moment there. I was like, yes, of course I would. I'd like to go out with you. Our first kiss, it was on the fifth date. He took his time. We were hanging out and he was going to his apartment, so I walked with him. But before that, he asked me um, if he could kiss me. And I said, yes, of course. <laughs> And then he kissed me. It was kind of awkward. As I was giving her a smooch, my roommates were coming up behind me, and I was <laughs> and I broke off quite quickly. And that's what made it off. That's what made it awkward. I knew I was ready to propose to Maria after going to the temple with her, and I remember sitting in the celestial room and feeling this is someone I can take to the temple with me. This is someone I can live my life with and try to be righteous with. A couple days later, we went to her state conference. And I remember having another a second impression saying, this is the woman I'm going to marry. And I feel like I need to marry her. It was after we went to the temple. After we went to the temple, I took some time to think about things and think about um, how our relationship was going at that time and I prayed and I took my time to think about our relationship and it got to a moment it was a feeling it was a strong feeling in my heart that I was that I could see myself marrying him <laughs> general conference was coming up and we went and had a picnic in between sessions. We went and bought some nice cheeses, uh, brought a little board game, I decided to grab a sleeping bag, a couple blankets. As soon as we were packing up and getting ready to the car, I, I told Maria, I said, you know, we've been together for a while now and we've been able to go to temple and, and I, I want to get to know you better and I, I know we're going to be going home to Texas and you're going to be meeting a lot of my family and friends and I don't want to introduce them to you as my girlfriend. And so I said, Maria, well, I have this very special question for you. And that's where I got on one knee and proposed to her. I said, Maria, will you be my fiance? Will you marry me? I was just very excited because it meant that I'm gonna start this new stage in life with him. We're gonna prepare ourselves for this new chapter in our lives.